Nine lives to live. The nine to endure kind of sticks with you. Nine lives to accomplish much, but each life more complicated than the last, and each death more painful than the one before. I'm sorry, but I think that you should know the truth. Hey, how's it going? I'm Benjamin Stone, and welcome to the official ABC Family podcast for the nine lives of Chloe King. Nine lives to live, nine lives to endure. Each one more painful than the one before. That's a pretty ominous statement. This week, we're going to meet Valentina, the head Maya in San Francisco, who also just happens to be the mother of Jasmine. You know, the one who took a knife in the back trying to save Chloe from an assassin. Take a look. I don't want to die again. And I'm doing everything within my power to make sure that that doesn't happen. The Maya are searching for the Order's assassin as we speak. But what if they can't find him? Then we're going to take you away and put you into hiding. Whether she likes it or not, Chloe King's life is no longer her own and there's a threat to her safety around every corner. If the remaining members of the Mai civilization are to survive, Chloe will have to be the one to save them. Good thing she has a superpower or two to help her through her normal day. Right now, join me as we examine Chloe's gifts, AKA superpowers. Trust me, it'll be fine. Ah! Wish me luck. First, we have claws. That's a winning characteristic to have. Whether for eating or defending, or giving your future boyfriend a loving caress. Ah. Ah. Damn, got some nails. I wish I could have those in life. It'd be great. If someone tries to mess with me, I'd just pop them out. Ah. Oh, you broke a nail. I hate it when that happens. I'd covet the claws. I do. I'm like, oh, I want to just try them on. I've asked lots of times. Um, <laughs> it doesn't go over that well, but <laughs> I have asked to try on the claws. <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> that's probably the most cat-like, but I think the night vision is also very catty and cool and uh, really helpful. Hey, do you have night vision? I bet you do. All cats can see in the dark. Night vision is also pretty handy if you need to see and annihilate a bad guy. Quick question, how are we at seeing in the dark? You never have to worry about, oh, it's dark, okay. Whoosh, I can see you. <laughs> Agility is a good one. Just like a cat, it's useful when falling from a building. Good to know that part's true. I think the more Chloe does and, you know, the scarier the situations that she goes through, she's beginning to learn how to harness those powers. A keen sense of hearing is a valuable asset for Chloe to have, whether it's for listening to something she needs to hear or hearing something she shouldn't have to hear. Yes, it's infected. Yes, it hurt. And yes, my mom's gonna kill me if she ever sees it. Turn around. <sighs> Having fun? I swear, I'm gonna tie a bell around your neck. Stop sneaking up on me. She learns how to use the, um, the super hearing, which becomes a very vital part of how Chloe um, goes through her everyday life. It's just noise, I can't really control it. Well, we'll have to work on that. You have to learn to control your gifts. It might mean the difference between life and, well, for you, losing another. As the season unfolds, you begin to realize that Chloe has more powers than, you know, were first introduced. I can hear it. Now, empathy is a characteristic that caters to a sensitive side, especially if you've had a rough day. Do you know what the word empathy means? Yeah, it's like, if your friend feels bad, then you feel bad for them. Close. Empathy is directly experiencing the emotions of another person. People always say the cats are completely aloof, but you realize they can read their, your emotion when you come in the house and you've sat down and they've just had this horrible day. Your pet will always come straight to you. You, my child or an empath. Like being my and the Uniter wasn't enough. And finally, how about having nine lives? Let's talk about that for a second. Of course that works pretty well when you've lost one, two, three, you get the picture. Kill her as many times as you have to. Now, I try to be fast, but with eight lives to go, this could take a while. And have I mentioned that I also have all those extraordinary powers? Except for the nine lives. I need to get on that. I most definitely think that she needs to give Alec a try. 
and I'm starting to think that Alec would prefer that he have Chloe to himself, beat that Brian guy. Now, it's time for our fan question of the week. Hey Rachel from Charlotte, North Carolina. Your question for me is what characteristics of an animal would I take on if I could be like Chloe? And my answer would be, hmm. I think I would kind of stay within the feline range because they're just so cool. I think I would go for like a lion or lioness just because lions are fierce and pretty and fast and I don't know what's not to love about a lion. It seems pretty cool to me. <laughs> Now, if you have a burning question that needs answered, I want to hear from you. Please send along your questions to Twitter at ABCF Nine Lives or Facebook.com slash The Nine Lives of Chloe King. And remember to watch all of our weekly podcasts at ABCFamily.com or subscribe to this series at iTunes, keywords, official Chloe King podcast. So, will Chloe's superpowers be enough to save the day? Will she become the season savior of the cat-like race? To find out, don't miss a single episode of The Nine Lives of Chloe King every Tuesday night at 9, 8 central only on ABC Family. I'm Benjamin Stone and I'll see you again next week.